Okay people, this is himself and welcome to another Tekken 7 Marduk guide. In this video, I'm going to show you my easy way to VTS cancel and trust me, it's not just a case of mashing 3 plus 4. But before we get into that, I want to explain why we should VTS cancel and the answer is juggle damage. If you've watched any combo video, you'll realise the high damage stuff always comes from cancelling and in some cases you have to do it twice otherwise you miss out on a lot of damage. On top of that, cancelling also allows you to do the air throw and not only does this give you good damage, it also grants you OK, so ideally is what you should be ending your combos with. So with this technique being so important, how do we do it? The straightforward answer is hitting 3 plus 4 twice, but this causes some problems. One of them is that you might not get a clean input and what you end up with is the 3 mid kick. The other scenario is that you get into stance but you don't get the cancel and because of that you can't get the air throw. Now the way to overcome this is using 4. What we do is df312, tilde 4 and then hold it in. Now since there's no 4 command nothing comes out but what it allows us to do is buff the cancel. So what we do is hit 3 twice and the game will interpret this as 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4. Now if this sounds a little complicated, don't worry because it does get easy with practice and if you think about it, this method has no double button input so your chances of messing up are way less. Now as well as doing this with df312, you can also do it with 1-2 and when you do it multiple times, it pushes them to the wall what that does is it influences them to duck or interrupt, but when you sense that, what you can do is use F plus 2 instead. Now this is a mid, so if they've ducked, they get hit and you can get a wall bounce. If they've interrupted, then we can still beat them because this move is a power crush. And from my testing, anything slower than 11 frames gets absorbed. The danger though is if people block it, because this move is minus 14. But what we can do is apply a mix up. One option is D1 plus 2, aka Python pull. This is a low, so it makes them crouch. But if they block it, we're at minus 39, so it's super risky. Another option is VTS throws. These come out at 12 frames and they have specific breaks. They also have good OK, and I'll be covering that in a future video. So if you want to see that when it comes out, make sure you subscribe. Another move you can use the cancel with is sidestep 2. The regular version is minus 3 on block and 0 on hit, but when you're going to stance, it's plus 2 and plus 5. So on block, you can frame trap with while standing 1, and on hit, you can use while standing 4. Now with the cancel, you actually end up at plus 1 and plus 4. The frame data is showing different numbers, but that's because it takes 1 frame to cancel. Now with those frames, you can use 2 on to frame trap on block, and on hit, you can use df42. Now my next mod up video will be on wall combos, so if you want to see that when it comes out, make sure you subscribe. In the meantime, check out my Punishers video and also follow me on Twitter. There's numerous short clips that I upload that don't get a full video and you might be missing out.